What game series would you like to be brought back? Um, I've only played a little bit of Kid Icarus Uprising, uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed it a lot. Like, the, I need to, that's a game I need to play again. I think I'm going to play that this week sometime for my game update, so that'll get me to finish the game. And I want to go back and get some of the Kid Icarus games. Uh, I'm the, I don't want to get them for a virtual console, but I want to find them a uh, hard copy if I can. But I really enjoyed Kid Icarus and what they did with Uprising. And I know for a fact, I think it was stated that, you know, they're not going to be working on another Kid Icarus game for a while. But I just enjoyed using Pit in Super Smash Brothers, And just, I, I feel like Kid Icarus deserves a lot more love in, from Nintendo. So if he gets another game for the Wii U, or, you know, at least one for the Wii U, I would be like a main game, not like a little virtual console thing, but I mean like a main one of these kind of games, I would pre-order it day one. What are some of your other favorite animes aside from Sailor Moon? Um, I really haven't watched a lot of anime as I probably should and maybe make it out the same, but I've seen Madoka Magica, um, just the 12 episodes I think it was, and I absolutely love that. Uh, I did watch Fruits Basket and I enjoyed that until I wa um, read through the manga. I have that on my shelf and I kind of realized why some people may not have liked Fruits Basket as to what it was supposed to be compared to in the manga because what happened was there was a mistake in the Fruits Basket anime. Like right at the very end something was like shown that wasn't supposed to be shown and kind of just ruined it from making the rest of the anime. I really wish they would re remake that. But I did watch that and I did like it because that's what introduced me to Fruits Basket. I've watched Darker Than Black uh, both seasons except I didn't watch the, I think the OVAs that were supposed to be between season one and two that explains why um, Yin was kind of like not being as a main part of the season in the second, like not sh being shown as much like with um, Hay. Um, so I really did like Darker Than Black. So I think those are like the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. I need to watch a lot more anime. I want to watch Attack on Titan. I want to watch Kill a Kill. I've seen one episode of Kill a Kill, the first one, and I was like, this is weird, but I, li but I like it. So I'm going to continue to hopefully watch that. So I went through editing the video and I can't believe I forgot I missed that part of the question. So I apologize, but um, I'm going to do a top five definitely recommend for the Wii U uh, Mario Kart 8 absolutely love that to death the online I think has been the best so far with it uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD uh, the upgrades from the original GameCube uh, with the graphics a little bit upscaled a little better still just as good I mean the Wind Waker original holds up to this time as well still I believe but the upgrade with the sale definitely makes things a lot more easier and the gamepad being able to be used as a map is excellent. Super Mario 3D World, I know it wasn't the 3D Mario people were expecting, but it's still a fantastic game that is great for local multiplayer, and Mario gets to be a kitty. How is that not fun? Um, Pikmin 3, definitely. Piggies! Piggies are bouncing up and down in the cage. Pikmin 3, I know it's a niche title, but the puzzle solving and the use of the gamepad being able to um, take the different captains and divide your Pikmin between them to complete different parts of a stage and a level. Definitely a whole lot of fun. Great level. Um, puzzle thinking. Solve, solve, solving things. I can't talk. And a new Super Luigi U because um, I know there's new Super Mario Brothers U but this is kind of like a, more of a challenge and this one is actually cheaper too as well. Uh, a lot of replay value if you go and try to 100% things because of the fact that you have only 100 seconds for each level. So those are my top five I recommend uh, as hard physical copy discs. Did you like Sailor Moon Crystal and are you happy it's supposed to follow the manga more accurately? Yes, absolutely yes. Um, so far up to this point, uh, you know, the, fir the first three episodes of Sailor Moon Crystal have premiered and I'm like, at first I did have doubts at the art style when it was first shown. But then over time, I got used to it. Uh, the art got, it was shown differently and we saw it animated and I was like, okay, this is gonna be all good. And like, every time I watch it, I seriously want to cry because of how happy I am to see it and how it just has, it's still 
quirky, you know, that has that Sailor Moon feeling, but it has a more serious tone than what the original anime did back in the 90s. What are your thoughts on the Tomodachi life gay controversy? I've seriously been like just muttering, mumbling for the past 10 minutes trying to think of a way to describe it because I was going to make a video on this and I ended up not doing it because, you know, everybody seemed to already make a video, but I've, you know, everybody who has a gaming channel should make a video about games, so I mean, I should have, but, um, to try and put it short in a, like a small, con in a nutshell, I think Nintendo should have, like, they should have let gay marriages be an option in the game, and I do understand to a point a couple reasons why it was, like, taken out. One, because, like they said, you know, it wasn't built from the ground out and that was a glitch. And I have friends who, with experience, like, in software development, game, whatever, um, you know, technology that way, where they said it could be an easy-to-fix update glitch. And I want, I feel like part of me believes that, another part doesn't, because, well, how do you know if it's something that they really haven't tested and something that would be a major um, update that changes a lot of the gameplay aspects, you know, it should be something that should be put in from the ground up and not just updated with, so I can see why that it was taken out as a glitch. But overall, if they should add, like they did say in a statement that they'll try to be more inclusive in future titles, which one, yay, hopefully we get more titles. Two, I really hope they, you know, do put in the ability for two women and two men, if they want to be in a relationship and have their kids, you know, that's who they are. A lot of my friends are either straight, gay, lesbian, or bisexual. I know a lot of them are gamers. You would be surprised. You see on the internet, there's a lot more uh, adults and teens, older people playing games that I think Nintendo really fits, does see, because I feel like a lot of their marketing, you know, they understand a lot of their games are for kids. And a lot of kids do buy their games, but a lot of older people buy their games as well. A lot more than I really think they believe. But I do see the point where they didn't include it because if a kid gets that game, the parent who may not be as open-minded is going to see this in a game. They're going to think Nintendo is promoting being gay and that is telling their kid to be gay and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it's, it's really hard. I'm not saying that... If a kid sees a same-sex relationship in a video game, they are going to go have that same-sex relationship. I am saying that I think parents will think that if they are closed-minded and they are radical and, you know, it's just, it's a very touchy subject and I don't want to say the wrong thing because I know there was a woman on YouTube who recently made a video where she was saying being gay is a choice and we, um, I disagree with that. I think some people, you know, it's who they are, it's how they feel, it's not like they go choose to be gay, it's who they are, how they feel, and they can't explain why, it's just the way they are. So that's my thoughts on that, I hope that we get the my point across and that I didn't offend anyone because I don't believe I said anything to offend anyone because I don't have anyone to really offend because a lot of my friends, like I said, are gay, are lesbian, are bisexual. So. Just let people be who they are. That's all I have to say about that. When you fart, do you enjoy the smell? If so, what food creates your favorite fragrance? Um, I am not going to say, well, one, I don't fart, I toot. Because my boyfriend's little sister, that's what she says and that's what I'm gonna go by. Is ladies don't fart, they toot. So, um, <laughs> um, yeah, I tolerate them. I don't think they're horrible, some can be bad, but just like everybody, just, you fart, so you you don't have the guts to talk about your farts on camera for the internet to see, so you can, if you haven't done it yet, so you can just be quiet. Uh, I'm going to quote a man that we all probably know and have heard of. Um, everyone likes their own brand. I noticed that when I eat broccoli that my toots aren't really that bad, so yeah. There you go. What's your favorite gen of Pokemon and why? I did, I know I have answered this in a Q&A before, um, and I'm just gonna say Johto, and I really don't know why. I just feel, it's like, I just have an attraction to the Johto region more than the other regions as well. And a lot of my favorite Pokemon do come from that region, such as like Espeon, um, Jumpluff, Fran, um, Ampharos, I was about to say Flaffy, 
Um, Selby is one of my favorite legendaries, I think. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of my favorite Pokemon just are in the Johto region. So that's my Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything, like if I answered any of your questions, you want me to go into further detail, and I'd love to. Uh, if you want to ask any more questions for me to do another Q&A, I will let you know next time I do. Um, comment question. You guys tell me about your farts. I talked about it on the internet, so you are going to comment about it down below as well. Okay? There's... No excuse for you to not to talk about something that I know you do. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to know when I upload videos. The description links you to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all those beautiful things that let you know when I upload as well. And when I ask you for questions for Q&As. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!